Hey, thanks for coming by Tori Magoo 44. It is August, what are we on now? August 19th. All right. It's the 19th and things are rolling along in many different ways. Uh, today I wanted to talk to you about Scientology and what they call other practices. When I got in Scientology, you couldn't do yoga. You know, there, there's a million things that they think are other practices. And Hubbard said those were high crimes, literally, if you did them. Um, you, think, you can think about just about anything. Hypnotism, of course, they're obviously totally against that. They, they were just against just about anything unless it was Scientology, right? And the reason I'm mentioning this, because I'm going on an adventure, I'm big on adventure, I was even when I was in Scientology, I be, I'm big on taking a short vacation, right? Because a lot of times people don't have time or money to take a long vacation. But you can go for a couple of days on the weekend and it's very, very nice. So I am going on a little teeny vacation in Scientology, someone is going to be here, so don't try to, you know, harm my house in some way. And the police have been notified, so uh, don't try to spook around or you're going to get in trouble. But here, remember they declare you a suppressive person. If, you ever, if anybody talks to me, they're declared suppressive if they get caught. But you know what? You're failing terribly at it, Scientology, because people are talking to me from many different walks of life, many different levels of Scientology people in, people out. I want to really congratulate the people that have woken up and gotten out. I want to let Anonymous know some of these people recently have told me they've left because Anonymous was there picketing and they went, you know what, they got some good points and they're out of there. So congratulations. So adventure is an excellent thing and I'm going to be taking an adventure this weekend so you won't be hearing from me probably until Sunday or maybe Monday. So anyway, I just wanted to let you know that, and uh, the thing about the other practices is kind of funny. I mean, it's one of the biggest joys for me when I left Scientology. It was one of the greatest things in the world, was not having to have their insidious, insane, constant, you know, are you doing this? Are you taking medication? Have you taken any aspirin? Have you had a beer? You know, have you done this? Have you, are you, do, you're getting acupuncture? I remember going in session and saying, you know what? Just don't even talk to me about it. I have headaches. OT7 isn't working. I'm going to acupuncture. That didn't do it for me. But the point is they finally went, all right, all right. We, you know, because we were money for them, right? And most of the people on OT7, it wasn't really working. So they were getting into these other practices, like acupuncture or whatever, different things, you know, massage, different things that, you know, anything to try to help whatever pains or somatics or upsets that they had that they weren't getting fixed with OT7. And I tell you, it's such a joy to be able to just, whenever anybody calls, say, you want to do this? Go, yeah, let's go do it. It feels so good. It's so free. It's so nice. I mean, it's so amazing. And all of us that are out, I can't believe we lived in that for so long. If any of you lurking in there, please keep watching other people's videos because all of us who are out, go, we can't believe we did that for however long we did it. I mean, it's just amazing. And it is delightful to be out. I am having a very good time. I want to thank everybody who's helping speak out, expose the abuses of the Church of Scientology. We just found another Church of Scientology of a certain area, and I'll let the person who found it expose it. Gone. You know, and somebody else just emailed me, one in the South, gone. You know, they're, they're gone. They're shutting down. And they don't have new people that are joining up. And you know what, Scientology? That's your fault. That's not our fault. All we're doing is showing the world the creepy things that you do. You could stop them any day, and it might be a big difference thing for you. But you do have to stop those things. You have to stop breaking up families. And in fact, I believe you need to repair the families that you've broken up because you have lied to the different people about people like me and many, many other people, including my friend Ida. Met, you know, I, the list would go on forever. Jerry Armstrong's wife 
and her daughter, you know, just people that are broken up because of Scientology's lies. And you need to bring those people back together and handle it. You need to handle and stop fair game. You need to stop all medical abuse. You need to stop roping in young people and telling them that you're, they're going to clear planet Earth, which you know is horseshit, and stop using them and using people in general. I mean, it is sort of like human slavery. And you need to stop it and do the right thing. And the day you do, things are going to get better. And until you do, things are going to get much, much worse. So there you go. That's from me. I'm off to have my little adventure. I will tell you about it when I get home. I love all of you. Please, if they try to start spamming my YouTube site, will you guys please just, you know, start posting stuff about L. Ron Hubbard? Because that's the only thing that will ever get them to kind of back off. Because they don't want more quotes about L. Ron Hubbard and their abuses. So, you know, stand fed, you know, stand there for me, okay? All right. I love you guys. Hearts of Oak. I will talk to you when I get back. Bye-bye.